All right, everyone, so this is just a quick video. I'm working on my 2025 Ford Maverick. And from the factory, the speedometer is off about two to three miles per hour, between like 70 and 80 miles per hour. So down in low speeds, it was pretty accurate. But once you got higher, it was off in a bad direction too. So if your indicated speed was 80 on the speedometer, GPS speed, was 82 to 83 so it means you're actually going faster than what was reading so i've been working on trying to true that so things have changed a little bit with how to do that but i've got the latest uh version four scan is 2.3.66 they finally got all the modules for the 2025 maverick on here so i'm going to go to body control module module configuration i'm going to hit play obviously the key is on the, the, obviously the car is not running tire so tire circumference so my factory value here was 2202 it's very common I've got the 225 65 17 wheels so I um, actually changed it to 2210 so very slight adjustments make a big difference and there is a range so if you're adding much larger tires the highest you're going to be able to go is 2273 which is the actual calculated circumference for a just a 225, 65, 17. But it's kind of a formula. Some people say to take uh, the actual circumference in millimeters, multiply it by 0.967, use that as a starting number. I found you really just, you're going to have to play with it a little bit. So I'm really close at 2210. I'm within a mile per hour. So I started at 2202, went up to 2210. I'm going to bump up to 2215, and we'll hope that that puts me in a good spot. As long as it's really close, I'm not going to push it too much. So the first thing I need to do is write that change. So obviously, you know, it's not a bad idea to take a picture, you know, when you're doing this. Um, just so you know, and you definitely want to memorize your initial value and make a backup of your BCM as built file. In case you start screwing things up, you need to put it back. So I'm gonna write that change. It's gonna tell me to cycle the ignition. Okay, we'll stop this. So now is where it gets kind of interesting. So if we check for DTCs, you'll see we have a PCM mismatch code here. we need to address first so how to do that go back here to module programming go to PCM module initialization relearn we'll do that start that and it'll tell us to turn the ignition off so we're gonna do that click OK Wait 30 seconds. Now, if you have moved um, the millimeters, the value too much, it will give you a, see where it says checking synchronization with central config before relearn. It will say basically that it's out of range. So like I already said, 2273 is on the high end. I think the low end is like 21, 2162 on the Maverick, Bronco Sport, maybe others. So you really don't have a lot of adjustability with this. Okay, turn the ignition on, but don't start the engine. Click OK. So that is done, but we're not done. So if we check our DTCs again. So now the problem is shifted to the all-wheel drive module, which is expected. So we're going to go back to module programming. We're going to go to the all-wheel drive, module initialization, relearn from central config. Same thing we just did with the PCM. Click play. OK. Same thing. It's going to wait a few seconds and tell you to turn the ignition off. Okay, turn off. Press OK. This one takes a little bit less time, about 10 seconds instead of 30. Turn it back on, hit OK. 
All right, now a lot of older vehicles, you'd be done. We're not done. So you're still gonna have a DTC. We rescan. So let's clear this all wheel drive DTC. Yes. And in a minute, it'll tell you to turn the ignition off and back on. All right, now here's where it gets a little tricky. I found that if you just did this here, it's not good enough. So for some reason, the change does not reflect right away in the instrument panel. So what I do is go here to the wrench and I'm gonna to go to the IPC and I'm gonna do a module reboot. Okay. Turn the ignition off. Say wait 10 seconds. I'm basically gonna reboot the IPC first. And then I'm going to reboot the body control module. Let's see. So let's I'm just follow the prompts. Then I'm going to reboot the PCM. Just do a module reboot. And then the last one we're going to do is we're going to reboot the ABS module because the ABS module does get tire data so ABS module reboot so there is some other uh, things that can be changed in the ABS module I'm just trying to true my factory tires um, if you do change to a common tire size, like basically like how the trimmer would have. So now if I look, hold on real quick, I'll show you that in a minute. If I read my DTCs again, so these are just basically lost communications. We're just going to clear everything. Sometimes you do have to do the PCM relearn again. So it looks like we're good. Let me just show you real quick. If we go to the module programming and we go to ABS and we click module configuration, run that. You'll see under tires that there's multiple options for the stock 17s, 18s, which isn't really an option on these newer 25s. 225, 65, 17, 80 tires, or 235, 65, 17, 80 tires, which is like on a trimmer. So I guess if you changed to one of those, you could also adjust this in here, but I'm not gonna be doing that because I'm not, I'm just trying to fix this. So now I'm gonna take it for a drive. Let's do one more DTC check here. Everything's good. So I'll disconnect and take it for a drive and see how where we're at. So one other quick thing to talk about. So when you're raising the tire circumference, just might just make it easier. In like in my situation, my speedometer, factory speedometer was reading low. I'm increasing the circumference to try to bring the speedometer up to match GPS speed. So if you download a good like GPS speedometer app on your phone, I know they're not perfect but it's gonna get you really close, obviously, which is a lot better. I, I found it very weird that this brand new 2025 Maverick was that far off on the speedometer. A lot of people don't care, especially in the online forums. Got some flack for even caring about it, but I don't know. I can't be the only one who's annoyed by 
something like that, especially when it's making you more in the wrong. I guess if it was the other way where my speedometer was indicating a little bit higher than I was actually going, it wouldn't be so bad. But this way, you know, if I get my cruise set at 70, I'm actually going 72, 73 miles an hour, more likely to get pulled over for speeding. So you can see it, 80 miles an hour, still at 81 on GPS. So I need to go just a little bit more. We're really close though. It does get worse the faster you go. So here at like 63, 64 miles an hour, it's pretty, pretty close. Um, 50 miles an hour below, it's dead on, and it hasn't really changed. The faster you go, the more the problem makes itself worse. Alright, well I finally got it dialed in. I had to bump it all the way up from 2202 to 2240. So you can see if I set the cruise at 80, it says 80 on the GPS speed. I know it just weighs, but and on the dash it is finally dialed in perfectly. All right, so hopefully that helps. I just went up in five mile per hour increments, and it is kind of cumbersome when you're going that slow because you saw the procedure I went through each time. There was a couple times where the all wheel drive module there would be an error that would say failed to retrieve the VIN number or some other error, and so I just re-completed the procedure to relearn from the central configuration from the body control module. Remember, I reset all the modules, including the instrument panel cluster, and here we are. So all the way from zero to 80, which I don't really plan on going any faster than 80, we're dead on with GPS and the speedometer. So factory setting was 2202, my final setting with stock tires was 2240. Kind of interesting. I don't know if there'll be a software update from Ford in the future if a lot of people have this issue because I know the stock setting for these trucks is always 2202 in the Bronco Sports and a lot of other vehicles with the same tire size. So kind of interesting um, but I was able to get it so that's all that matters. So if the video is helpful to you uh, be sure to give it a like, uh, subscribe for more. I've got a whole bunch of projects on the Maverick that I've already done and will be doing more in the future. And if you have any comments or you've worked on this yourself on your vehicle, be sure to leave a comment let me know. Until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.